Hi, I'm Dan Rodriguez in Barcelona at MWC. I'm talking with Fran Heron at Nokia. He's the SVP and GM of their, of their core network business. Welcome, Fran. Thank you, Dan. Good to see you. Great to see you, too. So, we've been hearing quite a bit about all sorts of challenges across, really, the telecommunication landscape. One of the hottest topics is what's going on with the environment, climate change, and sustainability efforts. In addition, just to help drive overall sustainability efforts as really a collective industry, the, the telcos are also facing a lot of TCO challenges and energy, just energy efficiency, energy consumption is always a big topic. Are these some of the same challenges that you're seeing out in, the, out in the industry when you're having your conversations? No, it is, Dan, and it's a pretty much a universal conversation now. I mean, footprint, sizing, dimensioning, energy has always been a, an important factor, but I think in the last couple of years with the energy challenges globally, it's become a main topic of conversation for us at Nokia with our carrier customers as well. So as we evolve, our portfolio, there's really two things we're looking at. One is at the resource level, at the individual servers, how to get the most performance with the least energy footprint from uh, the hardware for our products and portfolio. And then secondly, in terms of how we build the networks themselves, is very intelligent use of resources. So only using the resources you need, so intelligent networks that can expand and contract to make sure that energy footprint and performance is spot on. Absolutely. No, you mentioned a lot of great things there, and one, one key thing I will draw out is that when you when you think about helping operators drive better use of energy and get better, just greater energy efficiency, you still have to meet all the stringent KPIs and SLAs. So it is it is a balancing act, and it takes a lot of work. And one of the things that we've invested in Intel and we've been collaborating with Nokia on is something called our infrastructure uh, power manager. We're showing on our demo show, show floor here, and I think we're getting really great results together. Do you want to chat about that collaboration? No, that's been a really important collaboration for us in terms of using the very latest processor technology from Intel, particularly for our data packet core technology. So in terms of moving from one generation to the latest generation, we've seen significant both performance increases, but also a dramatic reduction in energy consumption, 40% uh, or upwards even in some cases. So it's been a, a really groundbreaking shift and really important for our customers that we can show both that performance improvement with the lower footprint and the intelligent use of, of energy as well. Absolutely. No, it's been impressive what Nokia's been able to do with the infrastructure power manager in addition to really getting a great performance gen on gen with our new with our Intel Xeon scalable processor, the fourth generation. But in addition to this, we, we you know we're obviously can, can we continue to keep innovating, we're making new breakthroughs, and we have we previewed at the show our next generation, so the follow-on uh, codename Sierra Forest with our efficiency cores. Maybe you want to talk about some of the work we're going to do together on that platform as well. So some of the work we're doing there is, is really instrumenting our all of our core portfolio, not just packet core, although packet core, the data core, with the 5G advanced evolution coming, um, particular focus on that. Um, and so the work we're doing with you is really making the software extremely aware of the underlying infrastructure, how it uses the infrastructure, and being able to adapt as traffic changes and patterns change to make sure we're, we're using the infrastructure in the most optimal way. Absolutely. No, it's super critical that obviously operators have great confidence that they're going to get absolutely fantastic server utilization, going to get great, be able to hit their overall SLAs and KPIs and be able to keep their energy bills low. So with that, Fran, I'll thank you for joining me today. It's great to be here with you at MWC. Thank you so much, Dan. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it.